Now, let us see the questions from the topic probability over here. Okay, our question is first question is a dice is thrown twice, then the probability of that 5 will come up at least once. What we have to find? We have to find the probability of that 5 will come up at least once. Is it clear? So now it is asked in your set C, polyset examination paper, set C, and the question number is 48. Now let us find out the probability of that 5 will come up at least once. So if you are taking a die, if you are taking a die and you are throwing it twice, when you are throwing the dice twice, we can write in the form of 6 power n. How we can write? We can write in the form of 6 power n. Or else if you are taking a coin, if you are taking a coin, you can write in the form of 2 power n. Okay. But over here we are taking a die, so we can write in the form of 6 power n. Now, what will be the value of n? The n value will be 2. n value will be 2. So, 6 square it is equals to 36. So, this will be your total number of outcomes. What is 36? 36 is total number of total number of outcomes. Okay. Now, let us write this one, all the outcomes. So, first it will be 1 comma 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5 and 1, 6. Similarly, if you are taking 2, 1, 2, 2, then 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 and 2, 6. Then for 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5 and 3, 6. If you are taking 4 as 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5 and 4, 6. So for 5 part, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5 and 5, 6. For 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5 and 6, 6. So this will be your total number of outcomes which is equals to 36. So now from this what we have to find, we have to find the probability of that 5 will come up at least once. Okay, it is at least once. So which outcomes we can take over here? We can take this outcome. Okay, 1 comma 5, 2 comma 5, 3 comma 5, 4 comma 5, 5 comma 5 and 6 comma 5. So in this outcome, you can see there is a 5 over here. So we can take all these outcomes. Similarly, we can take this one also 5 1, 5 2, 5 3, 5 4. This one we have taken already and 5 6. So, if you are counting this one, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, this 11 outcomes will be your favorable outcomes. What is this? This will be your favorable outcomes. What is the formula for probability? Probability, probability, it is equals to, it is equals to number of favorable outcomes, number of favorable outcomes, favorable outcomes then divided by total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes. So let us substitute the values over here. How many favorable outcomes are there? It is equals to 11. So we can write over here 11 divided by total number of outcomes, it is equals to 36. So we are getting the answer for probability, it is equals to 11 by 36. So let us see the options over here. It is 11 by 36, 25 by 36, 23 by 36 or else 12 by 36. So option number 1 which is 11 by 36 is our correct answer. Now let us see the next question from the chapter probability over here. So if 3 coins, if 3 coins are tossed simultaneously, then the probability of getting at least 2 heads. We have to find the probability of getting at least two heads. Okay. So, Mudu Nala Lano Varusaga Egura Veste Kanisam Rendu Baru Sula Vache Sambhavyata. So, this question is asked in your set C paper, set C, and the question number is 55. Question number is 55. Now, let us solve this one. If you are taking a three coins, you are taking three coins and it is tossed simultaneously. So just now I have said you, if you are taking a coin, so it should be written in the form of 2 power n. If you are taking a die, you have to write in the form of 6 power n. So for this coin, we have written over here in the form of 2 power n. What is the value of n? So we are tossing this coin, 
okay we are taking three coins over here so the n value will be equals to 3 so we can write this as 2 cube which is equals to 8 2 cube will be 8 so this 8 is total total number of outcomes what is this one total number of outcomes now what we have to find we have to find the probability of getting at least two heads so let us write the outcomes over here so if you are taking the outcomes h h h and h h t then if you are taking h t h and this one t h h so we have written four outcomes if you are taking this four outcomes the next four will be very easy so instead of h you have to write t so t t t and t t h here t h t and over here h t t okay so what we have to find from this outcomes we have to find the probability of getting at least two heads at least two heads so we can see the outcomes over here in this it is containing three heads so we can take this outcome in this outcome also it is containing the two heads so we can take this outcome in this it is containing two heads okay and in this also it is containing two heads so we can take this outcome also but the remaining four outcomes but the remaining four outcomes we cannot take that one because it is not containing the two heads in that one so this one one two three four the four will be your favorable outcomes what is this the number of favorable outcomes it is equals to four now let us write the formula for probability probability it is equals to number of favorable outcomes number of favorable number of favorable outcomes divided by total total number of outcomes total number of outcomes so let us substitute over here the number of favorable outcomes it is equals to 4 then divided by total number of outcomes it is equals to 8 so when we are cancelling this one 4 ones are 4 twos are we are getting the answer as 1 by 2 so let us see the options over here 1 by 2 2 by 3 1 by 3 or else 3 by 2 so let us go with the option number 1 the probability of getting at least two heads it is equals to 1 by 2 let us see the next question from the probability over here if a two digit number is chosen at random then the probability that a number chosen is a multiple of three what we have to find we have to find that the probability that the number chosen is a multiple of three so random kela sankhya lo oka dhani tisu kunte adi moodi okka gunijam ayya sambhavyata so this question is asked in your set c and the question number is 58 question number is 58 so let us solve this one if a two digit number two digit number means the two digit number will start from 10 and it will ends up at 99 okay it will start from 10 and ends up at 99 so what we have to find we have to find that the probability the number chosen is a multiple of 3 multiple of 3 so let us take let us take the numbers which are multiple of 3 from 1 to 99 from 1 to 99 so from 1 to 99 how many numbers are there which are multiple of 3 means when we are dividing this when we are dividing this 99 with 3 so 3 3 is a 9 and again 3 33 is a 99 so you are getting the answer as 33 what you are getting you are getting the answer as 33 over here so from 1 to 99 from 1 to 99 the numbers okay the numbers which are multiple of 3 it is equals to 33 now let us find out the numbers from 1 to 10 because we have to subtract this one because we have to subtract the 1 to 10 numbers which are multiple of 3. So when we are finding this when we are dividing this one so we will get the answer as 3 3 is a 9 ok 3 3 is a 9. So we can say that the remainder over here is 1 so we have to take this number. So we can say that from 1 to 10 there will be 3 numbers which are multiple of 3 which are multiple of 3. So what we have to do now from 1 to 99 we are getting the 33 numbers which are multiple of 3 and from 1 to 10 we are getting 3 numbers which are multiple of 3. So what we have to take the numbers we have to take from 10 to 99 from 10 to 99. So when we are subtracting this one we will get the answer as 30 we are getting the answer as 30. So the two digit numbers two digit numbers which are multiple of 3 it is equals to 
it is equals to 30. Now let us find out, let us find out the total outcomes over here from 10 to 99, how many numbers are there? From 10 to 99, how many numbers are there? So you can see easily over here, if you are taking this one from 10 to 99, so there will be 90 numbers, there will be 90 numbers, is it clear? So what is the formula for probability over here? Probability, probability it is equals to in the numerator part what we have to write? We have to write the number of favorable outcomes, number of favorable outcomes means we are getting over here 30. So we can write it as 30 divided by in the denominator part we have to write the total number of outcomes. So total number of outcomes it is equals to 90. So we are writing over here 90. So 31s are and 33s are. After cancelling we have got the answer as 1 by 3. So let us check the options over here. It is 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 or else 1 by 5. So our option number 2 the probability which is equals to 1 by 3 will be our correct answer. Now let us see the last question from the chapter probability. It is very simple. So p of x plus p of not x it is equals to. Okay, p of x plus p of not x it is equals to. Or else we can write it as p of e. p of e means any event. If you are writing like this, p of e plus p of not e it is equals to. So this question is from set C and the question number is 59. So what will be the answer? It is very simple. P of E plus P of not E it is equals to 1 or else you are taking over here P of X plus P of not X it is equals to means our option number 3 will be correct. Our option number 3 is 1 will be correct. So with this we have completed all the solutions of the mathematics from your polyset examination. After this you are going to see the solutions for the physics and the chemistry part. So what you have to do after completing this video, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel Sai Medha ESET and press the bell icon or else you can do one thing also, you can download the app which is available in the play store, okay, Sai Medha dot in, you have to download this app. After pressing the bell icon, you will get the notifications regarding the tuitions, okay, tuitions of the diploma first year, second year or is the third year or else any about the entrance examinations. If you want to be a topper, one of the topper in the state, do visit us. Our institute is in Koti, Hyderabad or else you may contact the below given number. Thank you very much.